Hi, you nine. Today we're looking at uh, rates of change on time graphs. So we're going to be looking at real life situations, um, which are going to include uh, filling up a container with water. And you're going to recognize what the graph would look like if we plotted the level of the water. So I'm going to show you some examples, first of all, so you see what I mean. So we've got various different containers um, that we're going to fill with water. And depending on the shape of the container, it's going to change the way the uh, graph would look if we plotted um, how the water level is changing. So let's look at some easy ones first of all. Okay, these ones over here. Okay, these straight ones. Okay, so this first red container, um, well, it's um, got constant width, right? As you go up and down the, um, the level, um, the width doesn't change. So the speed that the water is going to increase by is going to remain the same. Okay, it's not going to get any faster or slower. So if I plot the graph of what happens when I fill, up, fill it up with water, um, it should do this. So let's plot that first of all. Okay, so nice and steady, nice and straight. Okay, it isn't getting faster or slower, but it's increasing the water level as you go through time. Okay, as you go to the right, uh, the water level increases. Okay, um, the second one, the blue container, um, it's similar um, up to the neck of the bottle. It's going to do the same as the red graph, okay? It's going to increase steadily um, at a constant rate. And then um, when it gets to the neck, it gets thinner. And what's going to happen there is you can imagine the water going in at that point. It's going to get faster, okay? It's going to increase the water level quicker. So let's um, think about um, your prediction for how this graph is going to look before I press the button and then see if your prediction was right. Okay, so let's, um, let's forget. Let's press the button. Okay, so slow and steady, then suddenly quicker, okay? Now, both of these um, parts of the graph are straight lines, and that's because the width on each of these two pieces is uh, constant, okay? It's not getting uh, fatter or thinner, uh, but the difference this time is that the steeper part of the graph is where it's getting quicker, okay? So this part is quicker, and this part is slower. Okay, so that's an important difference to recognize. All right, now, um, number three, tell me how it's going to be uh, different or the same as the previous two, and I'll press the filling uh, of the container in a couple of seconds. Okay, so let's fill up the third one. And again, starts off very slow on that, on that thick bit, and then very, very quick on the neck bit. All right, so same kind of thing, but this one is even sl uh, slower because it's very wide. Yeah, okay, it's going to fill up very slowly, very um, shallow on that line. And this one is very steep, so it's very quick. Okay, so differences there. All of these three are straight lines again, and that's because um, the width isn't changing on each section. Okay, it's not, um, it's not curvy, so the graph won't be curvy. All right, let's see um, some other examples. Let's see some where it is going to be curvy and see what happens with these. Uh, let's do uh, these ones. Okay, so container one, um, it's another block, blocky looking one uh, with uh, straight edges. So we might expect the graph to have straight edges. It's uh, going to be slow at the beginning because it's nice and wide. And then it's going to be quicker in the middle because it's thin and then back to slow again on the uh, on the final part. So if we were to fill that up, let's take a look at the graph. So slow, quick, slow. Okay, now if you want to make a note of that, you can. So this is slow. This middle part is the quick bit because it's steeper. And this bit is back to slow again. Okay, uh, should we do the blue one as well? So blue is going to go, it looks like slow and then a bit quicker for the middle part and then a bit quicker still. So that will look like this. Slow, quicker, even quicker. Okay, so that's one's getting steeper. Uh, you'll notice, uh, don't be put off by the shape of the uh, bottle. Uh, because it's getting narrower, uh, you might think this one's getting smaller or something like that. Yeah, because yeah, if the container gets smaller, you might think the level gets smaller. No, it's always going up, okay, as we fill it up. Okay, finally, the third one. This one, um, when you get to the, um, the the bit that fans out here at the top, um, because it's getting wider and wider, uh, that means that the rate of the water level is going to get slower and slower. 
Okay, now we need a way to represent that on the graph. Um, up to this bit of the neck, um, it's going to be a straight line, uh, quite fast because it's quite thin. Uh, but then to get it to be slower and slower, we'll see what happens. So there's the slow, the uh, quick bit. And then to get slower, it's going to curve downwards. Okay, so um, if it's not uh, vertical, you're going to be getting this curvy pattern here. All right, so let's make a note of that. So this curvy bit is the one that's getting slower. Okay, remember steepness is the speed. If it's getting shallower, it's getting slower. If it was getting steeper, it would be getting quicker. Okay, but you've got to take the time to think about which one of those two it's going to be. All right, uh, three more examples. Let's see some more curvy ones. Here we are. So this red one, um, it's gradually getting wider towards the top. So as the water fills up, um, it's going to get slower and slower, okay, because of it getting thicker. So for it to get slower and slower, it will look uh, similar to the last one we just did. But it's always getting slower this time, okay? It starts off quite steep, but then levels off. Okay, again, getting slower, this one. Uh, the second one in the middle, it's uh, got two parts to it. It's getting wider into the middle. And when it gets wider, it will be getting slower, same as this one. But then on the second half, towards the top, it's getting uh, narrower. So the water level will get uh, quicker. Uh, so the graph will get steeper. Let's have a look. So slower and slower, quicker and quicker. All right, so we can split that into two. Let's put some notes on that one. So it's kind of a uh, halfway point about there. This point is getting slower. And this one is getting quicker. OK. Now for the third one here, I'll um, leave it to you to think about it for a moment. I'll press uh, fill the container in a second. Uh, predict, if you can, uh, what the shape of the graph is going to look like and how these bits separate into different parts. Okay, let's fill up container, uh, container three. So it looks like it's getting quicker. And then right at the end, you've got this other bit that gets uh, slower. Okay, so quicker, I would say, up to about there. Oh. Yeah, quicker up to there. And then this final bit, where it changes direction, it's now swerving downwards. This is getting slower, but only for a little amount of time. Okay, so um, these are the kind of things I want you to be able to do today. Um, and be able to match the container to the picture of the graph, okay, and maybe vice versa. All right, so just doing um, going from one to the other uh, for today and tomorrow. All right, so to start you off, um, I'm going to give you this PowerPoint to go through, and you've got today and tomorrow to get all of these slides finished off, okay? I'm not expecting all of it to be done today. Uh, this is the one I'm going to give you. Uh, there's 12 slides, so maybe do um, about six today and about the other six tomorrow. Um, let's, I'll help you do the first one just so you can see the kind of thing you have to do. So um, what we're using, T is time. Okay, I'll annotate this as well. So this is the, as we go through time. We're filling up a container and D is the depth of the water. Okay, it's just the water level as it goes up. Okay, so for each of these six, can we match them to the six descriptions? Okay, how does it uh, relate to what's happening to the depth? So this one, uh, we're going through time, but the depth isn't changing, okay? It's not getting any higher or lower, so the depth is staying the same. So I think this one is going to go with the remaining constant one, okay? I'll put that as uh, blue. So remains constant is that first one. For the second one, uh, this time the depth is increasing as we go through time, and it's increasing... Um, with a shallow gradient, okay, it's a shallow line, and shallow lines are, um, are slow, slowly, okay, it's in increasing steadily. So this one, I believe, is this one, increasing steadily, okay, as in not quickly. Uh, D is the opposite, so let's put it in green. D is water level going down, and it's going down slowly because it's uh, not very uh, steep. So this one is going to be decreases steadily, this one, okay. 
uh, I will do the other three. Let's have a look at these. So this one is going up, and it's going up um, quite quickly. It's quite steep, so it's going to be increasing rapidly. That's this one. Then this one. It's the opposite, decreasing quite quickly, decreasing rapidly. So this one. And then this final one is in two parts. It increases quite slowly up to this bit, okay, so increasing steadily. And then this final bit, it plummets down, it decreases rapidly. Okay, so those six go with those six. Um, I'll leave it to you to do the other 11 slides. I'll show you what's on the next one, so you can get a little bit of a head start. Oh, let me um, show you that as well. Um, just remember this bit, so the steeper the line, the faster the rate, okay? The steepness corresponds to the speed. Okay, these ones, these ones are curvy. If it's curvy, that means it's going to be changing its speed, okay? If the steepness is changing, it will either be getting slower or getting quicker. So I want you to match these up to these four. Then this one will have some kind of uh, scenario on it. So this slide um, describes these five parts of this experiment, and you're gonna match it to these, um, these five sentences here depending on how the graph looks. Then you're going to match these four up. Then depth of the water in the bath. Okay, match the seven parts like the experiment one before, match it up to the seven uh, bits around the edge. Okay, so what's happening there? And then for the remaining parts, uh, you've got to get the containers and fill them up with water from the tap, and just like with my examples on the other PowerPoint, uh, which of the four graphs go with which one. Okay, so match them up. Uh, you can do it on the slide if you want to, you don't have to print them out, um, but you can hand this in to me tomorrow. Okay, if you have any problems with these, you can give me an email um, and I'll get back to you. All right, thanks, you and best of luck with this work today.